Hey there everybody. I'm going to do a swipe of some sort today. I think something on the floral side. I'm in a little bit of a floral kick with some cells and blowing and see what happens. Um, I, I'm using all deco art colors. They're in my squeeze bottles over here. So I put everything that I have. I don't, those aren't all my colors. I have more. But this is everything I have on my table right now. I always have lots of white. There's a big bottle and a little bottle of black for fine stuff. There's a magenta that I have in a bottle. Teal mint in a little bottle. Desert turquoise, ultra blue deep. Bright blue. Peacock Teal, I add uh, the Ultra Blue Deep and some Evergreen to deepen it up a little bit. Kelly Green. I didn't mean to get the Kelly Green. Festive Green. That's Festive Green. Sour Apple. I have a smaller bottle with the Citron Green in it. Cadmium Yellow. Bright Orange. Tuscan Red. Alizarin Crimson, Baby Pink, Carousel Pink, a small bottle of Vivid Violet with a little white in it, Purple Rain, and Dioxazine Purple. Those are my general go-to colors in squeeze bottles. They're all mixed one-to-one -one with Oatrol. Easy Flow, that's a European company. You can only purchase it from in the United States, either from Oatrol or Amazon. And it's similar to Floatrol, it's a paint conditioner. And um, for people in other countries that can't get either one, you just need a water based paint conditioner that you can get from your paint store. They should have something similar to this. But this is what we add to our acrylic paints as a medium. A pouring medium it's more cost effective and it helps your paint uh, stay wet a little longer flow a little better that kind of thing and sometimes it will produce cells just by itself and then I add a drop roughly per ounce a very small drop per ounce of spot-on treadmill lubricant to the paint mixture I mix them in cups add the Oatrol DecoArt does not require water because they're fluid enough in the bottle. The only one that does would be the premium and the tube. So mix them up in the cup, get them to the right consistency where it pours off your stick and then you transfer them to your squeeze bottles and they keep for, you know, indefinitely. And yes, I shake them and that's a lot of times why I have the little cells or smaller cells. This is one I did yesterday, and um, this was an old canvas painted on, sealed, gessoed, and, I, and it did a funny thing. I don't know if you can see the texture. See how it bubbled up down here in the, just in this area. Kind of like the leaves or vines are popping out of the canvas. It's kind of interesting. So... I'm actually going to leave it like that. It makes it have some texture. It's kind of neat. But it's dry. Just wanted to show you that. And I wanted to do a lime green pour. And this is dry. This was from yesterday. It's on a probably about a one inch thick piece uh, that's ten inches across. It's a clock base. has the hole pre-drilled and I'll install a clock kit. But I still have to paint numbers and that kind of thing on it too. But anyway, I was pleased with this. It's very cheerful looking. This is my white. It's pre-mixed with the Oatrol and some water. And to make it a little more fluid. And I want to start with the white base. You can spread it any way you want to. That's up to you. I use a scraper half the time or a some people use squeegees, some people use combs. There's all kinds of ways to do it. My husband got me some tubing. 
I have this size and then I have the big size. I'm going to maybe start with the big size today and see if I can do it, but it's it might just be too large. I'm not sure. It's, it's super thick and you kind of can't bend it a whole heck of a lot. So um, we're going to give it a go here. So anyway, I want it to kind of feel like a bouquet of flowers somehow because I do love flowers and they make me happy. And I want to try to blow it but make them larger. So this is going to be totally experimental. I wanted to see kind of what one looked like starting with black on top of the white. I start with this big hose and so I'm glad you can't see my face when I do this. So you got to get your hose to go the right direction too. That's the funny part. need to do is put white down first. And then a little bit of black. Let's try that. Okay, so that's eh, maybe a little bit too much black. Start back with some white in the middle. Since this one is black, I'm going to go ahead and put some purple. So obviously you've got to try not to um, do it all so much that it becomes one big blob. So I'm wondering if I put some white back. It's just as easy with a straw. The big tube is just too much. So maybe start with some white. A little better control that time. So this time I'm going to try the purple. And purple rain. So I lost the shape of my flower a little bit that time. Too much purple rain. Let's see if I can add a drop after the purple is gone. I'll figure out one way or the other. A little better. I'll control on that one. So, but I'm wondering if as it goes, as it dries, if I'll, I'll lose those edges with the black, because I really like the black edges, but anyway.
has so much more control with these smaller topped bottles. This is an icing bottle on Amazon in my link. There, it's the best. Anything with the smaller point is the best. I didn't like this um, citron green. I must have had another color mixed in with it because it just didn't look cheerful enough. Basically, I just want it to look like a big bouquet of flowers. Yeah. I think it kind of looks like that. Sure, all my leaves are kind of sort of connected. I've got some little uh, 
these little things that branch out. Uh, I forget what you call them. Not stalagmites, but fractals or I can't think of the word. That's not the word, but um, the one thing about this palette knife is it kind of scrapes down really close to the canvas, so I'm not a big fan of it, but it's the one that was the right size that I needed for the leaves. So, but it's harder because you actually touch your canvas down to the fabric when you're using this thing. those funky centers. Just wanted to throw a little bit of white back into it. Oh boy. One thing I can say is you, you can, with a straw, you can do it more gently, which is sometimes what you need to do. And with the tubing, it definitely takes more breath, there's no doubt about that. But hopefully that'll all kind of sink back in a little bit and the white won't be so bold. Reshape, make it not look so circular. It messes up your little cell pattern going on there. It helps with them a little to not look so circular. So, eh, it's kind of abstract and flowery. Uh, my biggest one is my worst one, unfortunately. So I don't know if I can do anything. I think it's just probably better to leave well enough alone, right? Can't really make it smaller. Um, so pretty much everything was covered. There's a little runoff on the sides from the flowers, which is okay. Kind of gives it that abstract kind of look. So I'm just filling in the areas that aren't, don't have paint on them. Kind of a, I guess kind of a neat little pattern going on. I guess somebody might would say, why'd you want to put the black down? I just thought it would make it more kind of outlined feeling and give it a little bit more impact. That's why I wanted to do the black. So, um, it probably would have been bright and pretty and colorful without the black, but um, I do kind of like the black intermingled with it a little bit. So, my squiggles and little lines here aren't so fabulous, but... It is abstract, after all. I think I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna take you down to see. So some of it's gonna have to level out where I've added some white, but it will. It'll all eventually level out. That's the cool thing about Iowa Trawl. It's really good at doing that and all these bright and pretty colors. So I wanted it all, like, all different colors, and so what I did is I used two tones of each color, like two tones of blue, two tones of purple, red and orange, yellow and orange. Um, this was like a magenta and the carousel pink, or it, it might have been the neon pink, actually. 
There's a neon pink. Now it is carousel pink. And um, then that was the peacock teal color with the um, teal mint for that color of flower, which is right here. But then I started each petal with a white, then black, and then added the colors. But um, you know, you just have to kind of do it so you and play around till you get it the way you want it, basically. And I see this area right here. get it up into this purple a little dot of that pur uh, purple rain just kind of tap it around and then it'll sell up it'll make its own sales big mass is what it looks like right now. Try it again. A little bit stronger at that time. But like when you blow it, how it makes these um, really cool lacing. That's what I love about blown flowers and people that use alcohol links is when they can get that um, where it, it fans out. And let's see, there's the little um, shapes that where it branches out. It's probably because there was some water in my straw because the moisture when you're blowing through it and it was dripping out as I was blowing. But I like the way the cells and everything kind of form together and the different colors. It's really kind of neat. And over here, see there's some little branching out there. That was just a little dribble of water in that area. There's some more there. So, but anyway, my attempt at just a colorful bunch of flowers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.